So if you have gone through the first two videos where we posted what is required to clear the certification from a services standpoint, we gave a big repository of services, which are important ones. Plus we gave an insight on the prerequisites, on the overall content that is covered, the number of questions and the cost. Now in this video, let us look at the domains and the weightings. This is important to understand which topic has what kind of weightage. So accordingly, you can prepare for it. So at a high level, this certification, it has four domains. So you have design solutions for organizational complexity. This is 26%. The max is 29% on domain two, which is designing for new solutions. Then you have continuous improvement on existing solutions and then accelerate the workload migration and modernization. So this is 20%. So this is the least one, but these topics are important. So we cannot say that we can skip the uh, less important ones because the split is almost similar. So let us delve in depth on each of us. Uh, so domain one, you have to design solutions for organizational complexities. What does it mean? It means that you will be tested on your architectural capabilities from a network connectivity perspective security controls perspective whether you are able to build resilient and reliable architectures and what if you are working in a multi-account AWS environment how would you maneuver uh, your space and then cost optimization and visibility strategies so this is one of the important things where you know at the end of the day whatever solution you are proposing it boils down to the cost and whether your company can afford it or not now this is the most important topic because we are covering 29%. These topics have a coverage of 29% in the certification. But this is very important because you are going to design new solutions. How to deploy this solution? What are the strategies you would enforce? How would you solution for business continuity? That means the application should not go down. The business should continue happening, okay? Then what are the security controls? What kind of controls you will put based on the requirements? What are your reliability requirements? How reliable you want the system to be? Are you going to pay for that reliability? You have a team and you have few people who are very reliable, but are you willing to pay for their overtime expenses? How are you willing to pay for their travel expenses and so on? So similarly here, the reliability aspect, the kind of services you plan, it comes at a very high premium cost. You want to design a solution to meet the performance objectives if you need a very high performance systems. If you are an Indian guy who is working for a like US based or UK based, company and you are working the IT and you are having a decision making authority boss start you will not get everything for pennies okay that is the Indian mentality Chinese mentality you will have to spend money and then you will get performance okay the more you save money in this era you will be fucked up man so determine the cost optimization strategy to meet the solution goals so what is cost optimization how what are the strategies you will use how can you you know maneuver your space so that the less important things are less costly for you the more important things you can divert more money there at the end of the day it's very important you don't screw up because of your lack of decision making that is very important because if you don't make the decision your competitors are making those decisions and they will just swell and their revenues will go up so you are missing those things so do not save the money this is not the time to save money continuous improvement for existing solutions what it means is see it will not be always that you're building new solutions. There will always be existing systems that you want to move to AWS to get benefits out of the cloud platform. So what would you do? You would determine a strategy to improve the operational excellence. See, there may be certain set of operations which is happening. Now you want to derive an excellence by moving to AWS, leverage a good kind of service and etc. You want to strategize and improve security. Maybe the existing security posture on premises was not good and you can improve that by coming here obviously you always remember security very high end security comes at a very high cost you have an apartment complex you hire a a grade security team you will have to pay a lot more money you have to determine the strategy to improve performance improve reliability identify opportunities for cost optimizations so now you might say hey some of those topics did didn't we cover in domain two yes boss see domain two was all about developing new solutions this is about modifying the existing solutions so like your existing solution may be not cost effective you would want to use that opportunity for cost optimizations you would want to strategize and improve the reliability the existing applications nobody thought about reliability at that point in time now this is your time you have a platform very which can give you very high performance very high security use that now you can accelerate the workload migration and modernization this what it means is 
every time a lot of clients say i i am on on premises or i may be on azure cloud i want to move to aws cloud what do you do i move the existing workloads i have a potential for migration i would determine the optimal migration approach for existing workloads so that there is uh, i can make it faster on aws platforms and i do not even have a negative impact on the production systems which is already running you have a new architecture for existing workloads so you might think that that you know by re-architecting you might be doing wonders to the system go ahead and do it determine opportunities for modernization so nowadays everywhere we are trying to identify opportunities for modernization and enhancements so the focus should be um, i mean this is very important from a client perspective the, their focus should be that they should keep their pockets deep in, at this point in time this point means 2023 2024 this is very important why 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 because the if you modernize and still you are stuck with some element of crap this was your opportunity you didn't make use of the opportunity and you're still sticking with a lower performance system a low security etc so do not do that go for the maximum uh, kill go for the maximum benefits you can get from the aws systems because it will last longer people will appreciate it it will turn out that your users will appreciate it okay so if you still think that there are people in your company who are not aligned to do that from a decision making perspective and they talk a lot about budget and etc not a right organization for you man move out now let me talk about some of the technologies and concepts that may appear in the exam which we have covered to some extent but you know these are very important compute cost management database there are various sort of databases you have to understand how would you do a disaster recovery for a database for an application or for your storage how would you make it highly available how would you manage the governance piece how would you do the data transfers how would you would you sync up the data with the on premises suppose you are on a hybrid cloud solution how would you do that how would you keep the sync up how would you use serverless design principles how would you make leverage of security storage and so on so this brings us to the end of this part where we covered what are the domains what are the important topics which are important in these domains now what we will do in the next part is we will go into each and every domain and then go into the depth of what is required to understand for preparing for the certification so this brings us to the end of this part where we are looking at um, the domains and weighting which topics have what sort of weightage and what are the important topics at a high level this brings us to the end of this part see you in the next part